Slave with Crafty Life Mom. It's been about a week since I've been live and I figured it was time to make a little bit of Christmas decor with you guys. So I've pulled out some supplies and I'm going to show you guys um, what I plan to make. So if you're new here, welcome. Tell us where you are from. I always like to see um, who's watching and where you're watching from. It looks like I can see, hey, Linda, hey, Sue, hey, Patty, hey, Marilyn, um, or is it Marin? Hey, Marin, welcome. And so today I'm going to be making some Christmas crafts um, that is decor, and it's a little bit different. Um, I haven't seen anything like this in the stores, and I got the idea just from having an embroidery hoop, which is what these are, um, in my craft cabinet, and I was thinking along the lines of an ornament, but I wanted something that's not an ornament because I plan to put these, um, we have some bookshelves on the like built-in um, shelving units in our wall, like around our TV. And so there's like our big TV in the middle, and then we have two shelves on the sides. And I kind of wanted something balanced to kind of like hang over top of those shelves with a little bit of Christmas um, like decor. I have a few things like on the shelves themselves, but I wanted something to kind of like rest kind of hanging off the front. And so today I'm making embroidery hoop ornaments tree things? I don't know what you would call these. Um, I've seen something similar where people hang like the embroidery hoops like on a wooden log and they kind of hang like all different, you know, levels. I've seen that and that's kind of where the idea came from. However, I'm going to be hanging six total from my bookshelves. So just here in my craft room, I have bookshelves on either side, but they have like glass doors on them. The bookshelves that are by my TV are just open, and so I just kind of want these to lay there. So I got from Michaels, um, okay, first of all, let me explain. Hey, Linda, from, where from Maryland? Hi, nice to have you. Hey, Sue. Um, so I have these two. These are small little embroidery hoops, and you can see they have the little screw top on them and so these are the ones that I had on hand and kind of where the idea came from and you can see like where I'm holding them they're not super big and so I wanted like three different sizes going on you know for each side so at Michael's craft store I was walking down one of the aisles in like or near around the yarn section and they had these like rings or these hoops but these are not embroidery hoops. They are like just like a particle board or like an MDF almost um, ring. And I don't, I honestly do not know what they are used for. Do you guys know if you're watching and you know what these are for? They're from Michaels. Let me know. But when I saw them, I was like, oh, that is perfect for the idea because they had two sizes in the store. So you can see here's like the big one and then here's the small one. And then look, the embroidery hoops that I have on hand are even smaller. So I have the three sizes um, that I was kind of going for. And they were like a cardboard material color or like, you know, like a chipboard color, I guess. Because it's kind of like what they are. I wouldn't say this is like tough, strong wood. Like I could probably break it if I tried. But it's pretty like sturdy, like an embroidery hoop. So very similar. Um, and then I just came home and I spray painted them so the they are kind of like a silver on one side because i really didn't have enough spray paint to like do both sides and then on this side i did this matte metallic gold um and it's like you know really not the best spray paint job in the world but i kind of am digging it and i'm gonna go with it okay so um, if you're just joining, say hello, say where you're from. Hey, Sue from Chicago. Hey, Linda from Maryland. Hey, Shanna. Am I saying that right? Shanna or Shauna? Um, and then, hey, Johnny. So, I'm going to make, like, these ribbon hoop 
ornament decor things. And I'm really making these because I want I want them to last. In our TV room area, we have like the nostalgia tree. It has all the different colors on it. The lights are white, um, but all the ornaments are different. They're handmade. It has like the blue colors in there. I have like hot pink going on in there. I have all of the colors, all the bright colors. Like I have a pillow that's on the couch that says merry and bright and it's like in the lime green, bright red, pink, teal, like all of the colors are going on in there. So I wanted to stick with that theme but still stick with the like whole tree theme that I'm into. And of course, you guys know, I had shown you um, in a previous live, I got these um, miniature Christmas trees from, their bottle brush trees from Target. Okay, and so I had to get the rainbow colors. You can see like this box, they're five bucks, and I think they were on sale. So check your Target, like in the Christmas section. It was just recent too. Um, but you can see like one's a little bit more green and yellow, and then one's more like a teal blue, and there's two of each. And then the pinkish red set, same kind of thing, like the light pink kind of goes to like a yellow. So I'm going to stick with those, and then from the... Um, bullseye section they have the mini trees like a dollar a four pack and you can see in these even there's different shades there's a dark and a light and so i'm kind of playing along with that whole theme there i'm going to definitely use the mini ones and then i went into the ribbon section and i have all of the um ribbon colors that i kind of have going on in my living room and so that's kind of where i'm going with it then I pulled out just some greenery that I have in my shop. This is actually like um, a spring floral. <laughs> it's not really like a Christmas green, but I also have a um, package here, of just like leftover Christmas tree. Um, these are like the Christmas tree pipe cleaners, or they're actually made to hold garland on like your stairs or on something like that. So these are perfect. I have a few of these in here, and I'm probably going to add them to the rings, okay? So I'm warming up the glue gun and I'm only gonna make three on the live, but I do plan to make six. Hold on, there's a um, thing happening on my camera and I just wanna make sure it's out of the way. All right, you guys there? Okay, sorry, <laughs> I'm back. All right, so um, it was just bothering me, I couldn't really see. So if you're joining me, I'm making the huge, um, I don't know, ribbon ornament wreaths, that's what I'm calling it. So what I want to do is I want to hang them like with a tall, like a long ribbon, like I don't know, six, seven inches, and then have a bow here kind of draping over the scene of little trees that I'm going to create inside the hoop. Um, so I'm going to start with the medium one just because I feel comfortable with that. <laughs> Um, because like I said, this is kind of something that was going on in my head and I haven't really like mapped out how it's going to fully go. So you guys are going to just kind of see with me. Um, so I'll do a couple here on the live and then I will finish them. And when I put them on the shelving um, units tomorrow, I'll take some pictures with the daylight because it's already dark. And you guys can kind of see how to do it. And you could probably do it, you know, fairly inexpensively. I did get these trees from Target. $5 a pack, so it's like a dollar something a tree, not a whole lot. Um, and I'm going to mix like the greens and the teals with the pinks and the reds um, just to kind of keep that whole thing going. So let's see. Hello, Linda. Hey, April. Let's see. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Gina. Hey, Susan. You guys tell me where you're watching from. If you're new or you haven't watched before, welcome. I do lots of crafts and DIYs. I'm kind of falling behind my little schedule. All right, so I'm gonna use the goldish side because I spray painted these. I spray painted like silver and then I ran out of paint and then I just used this gold. And so my goal is just to kind of create like a little scene sort of in the hoops and they're not gonna be matchy matchy um i kind of want them to be maybe like um hmm, let me see i don't know a little off from each other you know like not perfect like maybe some will have two some will have three i'm not really sure like how i plan to run with it like maybe a set of three for definitely like a larger tree is what i'm thinking and then I'm gonna open up these mini trees and 
kind of have them going as well. The other thing too is I want to share this with you while I open this up. If you're not like into the ring thing, but if you go to like your local Dollar Tree, um, I've seen these little tree like boxes. These guys right here, I have some to show you. See these? They're like in the picture frame section. They're a dollar. Look how cute all these colors. You could totally make all kinds of wall art with these. But for this little idea, how cute would it be? You can take scrapbook paper, change a scrapbook paper. I've seen that all over Instagram where people have done that with these little boxes. They've actually cut them apart and made them into like a tiered tree. Or you could glue little trees inside, guys. And you can get these bottle brush trees pretty much anywhere. But look how cute that would totally be. These would be a cute little gift for like a friend or something. I don't know. You know, maybe with a gift card. How cute is that? So if you don't want to do the ring thing, check out your Dollar Tree because that's where these little triangle cube, or not cube, triangle boxes came from. And super cute idea to do like that. And then you can put them on a shelf or whatever. Okay. So I think for this medium one, I'm definitely going to go with um, a red and a pink like this and just kind of do like three little trees. I'm going to start with, it's going to be kind of hard to hold, but I'm going to start with the big one in the middle. I'm going to go to asymmetrical, I guess, or even um, just for right now, but I may not stay that way as I build these up. Does it make sense? I hope it makes sense. And I'm using a dark green one from the packet, from the like dollar packet, and then I'm using a light green one as well. And see, I'm just kind of building that into my little hoop. Let me get it close. See that? And I don't know. I may get a little more fancy as we go. I've seen like where people have done um, like a little felt banner. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like a little felt banner kind of like draping through like that. Um, but I just wanna kind of keep it simple for now, just to kind of show you guys and then go from there. So this has pink and two shades of green, so I'm gonna do a teal ribbon. Make sense? All the colors, right? I'm gonna try and get all the colors that I can. And when I was picking out my ribbon, which I don't think all of them are, I tried to go with wired ribbon it will say it on the like the clear packaging like right here just a little tip that that's how you know you have wired ribbon um because for me it's easier to work with um for you it may not be but for me that is what is easiest to work with okay and so all i'm doing is i'm cutting about a foot here and i'm just going to like basically take the ribbon and fold it in like this right and I'm gonna make one more because I wanna double this up. I kinda want this to be cute bow-like. And do it again, but a little bit smaller because this piece is a little bit smaller. And make sure they just kind of touch together and lay that there on top like that, okay? So nothing special. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and tack it down with a dot of glue, literally a little piece, all the ribbon, and put the little piece on top, okay? Super easy, and then I'm just going to like pinch my little ribbons together like that, and like kind of let the glue kind of help it stick together, and then just fluff out this little bow. So I don't really know how to make bows, but this is like, my process for it okay now I'm gonna take a longer piece and I'm probably gonna go kind of long here and all I'm going to do is glue this down here take my little piece that I made to the center get a little bit more and flip this over Okay, and then, so there's like my bow, right? Sort of, it doesn't have any tails, but don't worry, it's going to. 
From here, what I want to do is secure this. I got to find my center. Make sure my trees are kind of centered up like that. I'm going to create some little tails to hang down and then I don't know how much ribbon I'm going to need, but I'm going to like then hang that from wherever it needs to hang on the bookshelf symmetrically, right? Because from year to year, I'll probably put them in the same place. So once I know the distance I need, if that's what it's going to be. So that's like how it's going to hang. But I'm going to go ahead and secure, um, before I secure the bow, I'm going to make my little tails for the bottom, just to show you. And to do that, I'm just gonna cut a piece of ribbon. I know, if you guys have a better way to make a bow than what I'm doing, totally put it in the comments, because that would be cool. Um, Cause I'm not like the greatest bow maker. I have like a messy bow that I know how to make, and I have like, with big ribbon, I know how to make like loopy bows, but they're not really loopy, and so yeah, okay, so I'm thinking here. So like you see how I just took that piece and I'm just like letting it fall like that. That's going to be where um, the tails kind of hang. And it might be best if I just kind of tie this in a knot in the center somewhere to kind of get a better fall. Just kind of play with it. I don't know, whatever works best for you. And then uh, straighten up my little tree here. It's kind of bending. There we go. Oh, now it's leaning too much. All right. So I've got my center. I'm going to put my little tail ribbons here. Let's see. It might be better this way. And I'm doing it with the spray painted side that's gold facing up. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and add my center bow. So let me show you that. And it looks so cute. Okay, you can do this like anywhere. You could actually put, get like a long stick from your yard or I don't know, wherever and hang it wherever you want to. Um, I plan to hang them from my bookshelves. They go pretty high. You could hang them on the side walls. You could hang them over like family of photos. You could probably put this pretty much anywhere. Um, Anywhere you want some kind of thing. Like this is my wall back here, but do you guys kind of see the effect that I'm going with? And I may add like some greenery as we go. I'm not really sure, but that's like the first one. Now, let's see, you guys want me to make, you love my hot glue gun. I love it too, Shauna. It's um Ryobi. I'll put a link to it after the video. Um, you might be able to find it locally at like your local Home Depot because Home Depot is the um, hardware store that actually sells Ryobi brand tools. I love Ryobi. Um, I have Ryobi everywhere in here. I keep the nail gun in here. I keep the um, hot glue gun, of course, always in my craft room. I have a battery charger in here. Um, and you can get like a battery pack set right now for the charger and two batteries at Home Depot because yes, your girl goes there. I go there just as much as I go to the craft store. Um, but you can get the lithium batteries two pack with the charger for like, um, I think it's 89 right now. It might be seven, I think it's 89. Normally it's like 99, so just look because they have their Black Friday specials going um, now. And I just did that and turned it off, so. I hope I should have done that because now I got to now I got to get it to charge back up. Um, but that's okay. I have another battery right over there. I might have to go grab it on my charger. I try to keep one always charged, but I do forget. Um, and then I go live, and then I'm batteryless. So, but yes, it is my favorite hot glue gun. I have like three or four actually in my cabinet behind the camera. I have the Dream Box which they have a huge Black Friday sale coming up. I'll have to share that with you guys. It's amazing. Um, those are a, like awesome pieces of furniture. They spread out to nine feet wide, full of craft storage. Um, they're pretty, pretty pricey. And Black Friday, and I think like Mother's Day are like they're huge sales. And this year they're offering more than they've ever offered off on your sale, which is over a thousand dollars. I mean, they're pretty expensive, but they are amazing to keeping your craft life organized. Okay, let me grab the battery really quick and we'll make one more hoop um, before we go. So see, I just keep it in the charger back there and I 
should be ready to go now with this one. It's been charging. Yep, there we go. See, and then the light on just tells you it's ready. It's like warming up and it's already been heated. So this one was probably dying since yesterday. I didn't go live, but I did make some wood signs, which I will share with you guys um, on that. Okay, so for the big one, I'm thinking a set of maybe three bigger trees. And I'm thinking like the blues and teals with maybe a pink tree in the middle. Um, I'm not really sure, but yeah, I think that's what we're gonna go with. So I'm going to just get, let's see, I'm going to glue this pinkish yellow one down first into my center here. And then you guys tell me what color ribbon do you think I should do for the larger one? I'm gonna use all of the colors. So I have a traditional red and green, and the green that I found, um, it is actually like a green polka dot. So it's like a lime green with the like dark green polka dot. I could not find um, just a, a green that I like, so I just went with that one. Um, all right, so we're gonna add my third little tree, and I could probably, let's see, I wanna make sure I have, because I have the little hoops too, and I might have to get a little bit more trees than what I have, but I do think it would be really cute to have, I don't know, some kind of other little trees going on here. So I may have to find some more trees, but like on my big ones especially, what do you guys think, like the five trees or three trees? There's like, the fourth one, it's kind of leaning. But um, I think I'm gonna go, let's see here. I think I'm gonna go with the three. And then I have, whoops, I have this pom-pom like decor. I think I literally pulled this off something. I don't even know. But my thought on this was to kind of have it wrapped and hanging through the hoop kind of like some snow would be falling. What do you guys think? I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna do it on a diagonal and maybe do two rows of it. Um, let's see here. Definitely thinking two. Let's see, five trees, says Sarah. Okay, Sarah, I'm gonna go with that suggestion. All right. So I'm wrapping it here and I'm gonna wrap it to the back and just secure it to the back. So are you guys already decorated for Christmas or are you still waiting until after Thanksgiving? I am pretty much decorated minus these few crafts that I have been waiting to do and share with you guys um, for like all things Christmas. So. I am close to being done, close. And I kind of like it that way. I've mentioned that before. And the reason is because um, once December kind of hits, which is like right the weekend after Thanksgiving, pretty much. Once that hits, I just love to come in, turn on all my Christmas lights and like enjoy my house and enjoy all the activities that go along with Christmas time. Okay, so I decided to like droop it like that, okay? And now I'm gonna kind of add the um, the rest of the trees that she said, Sarah said, so let's do that. I'm gonna add it. I think it's gonna be cute, kind of like a little tree farm happening in my little hoops of ribbon. And I offset the light, light green to the dark green and then vice versa left and right. And then I think for this ribbon, I'm gonna go with a red. What do you guys think? So there's like the little tree farm happening. Let's see that in the camera. Um, if I lean it this way. So it's not completely like symmetrical, but it's close, right? Close. Oh, I lost the pom-pom. May have to fix that. <laughs> All right, let's go with the red. Again, this one is wired. And I am going to do my bow thing, I think the same way. Um, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the same, same concept here. Two loops together. And then 
Let me glue that down. Super easy here, just two and two. The second one is a little bit smaller. Just bring them in together like so. And then I'm going to secure this to the main one like that. And add a little bit for the top piece. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna do the tails first this time. So let me just go ahead and cut that and kind of position where I want it. Now these probably need to be maybe a little bit shorter. So let's do that. I'm gonna cut this one a little bit shorter. Tie it in a knot and then place it down. Christina, hello, how are you? Hey Stephanie, hey Joanne. All right, so we are making some hoop um, ornament. I don't know what you want, I still don't know a name. You guys have a name for these? I don't know. I'm gonna just go with like embroidery hoop ornaments. I don't know, cause I actually made those last year, like the small ones that go on your tree. So that may not be a good name, I'm not really sure. I gotta come up with something for this project, but I do like the idea of it. Okay, so now I just need my long piece that I plan to hang this with, and I'm just going to glue this to my bow. So I start from the back like this, put my piece down, now I know that there's like a thousand different ways you can make a bow, but for this piece, I kind of want um, it to have the effect like it's hanging. So I want it to work with it this specific way. Um, but you can totally do this a lot of different ways. All right, so I'm going to just glue this ribbon upward. Try not to burn myself. And then attach my little piece here to the top where the knot is of our tails. Um, let me let that dry just for a minute and I'll fluff out the ribbons just a little bit more. Um, like this. Okay. And I may need to think of a better way to like kind of secure this. I may need to like almost wrap it one more time through the hoop. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like this and then upward, um, just to kind of give it that extra support. So I wrapped it this time on that one. All right, so here is this one, like that. What do you guys think? So it's gonna hang, like think bookshelves or like even in a row. Let me get the glue string out of there. Um, but kind of like different little angles. You see what I'm saying? And then as you get closer, it's like all the colors are there. So I'm gonna have six total, and then I'm going to hang them all from the bookshelf. So let me see if I can get that to stay, yeah. And it'll be flat, hopefully it won't spin. I'll have to secure that, right? So what do you guys think? Do you like this or? Maybe it's not for you, I don't know. I was just thinking like different ornaments and using like different areas in my home to kind of create a fun and whimsical, very colorful Christmas um, decor item. And then like I said, you could make like several of these, like four or five and get a long like log stick kind of thing and then suspend them all different lengths and then take that and like put it above like your couch area or like above your mantle if you have something up there just for something different than the traditional like cloth or the wreath um, for Christmas time. How fun would it be to have, you know, several of these little guys all different above something like that. So there's my idea. I will definitely finish making the rest of these, get them up on my bookshelves and then share a picture with you guys in this coming weekend so that you can see um, exactly what it looks like with all the different colors all coming together. So. That's what I have. Thanks for um, stopping by. Thanks for crafting with me tonight. 
I will try to come back live tomorrow or Saturday. We are going to be making gnomes. And I know that has been a requested video or a requested live. I've made some before. I've made them for Valentine's Day. I made some last year using Dollar Tree stuff. So the next time we go live, I'm going to be making gnomes with boots, boots or feet. Um, so it's not just a gnome that sits. It's actually going to have some boots on, some winter cute boots. So stay tuned for that and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!